John was walking through the park when he heard the faint cries of a baby squirrel. As he looked around, he saw a tiny, helpless creature lying on the ground, barely moving. It was clear that the baby squirrel was starving, and without help it wouldn't survive much longer. John knew he had to do something to save the little animal. So he scooped it up in his arms and rushed to the nearest veterinary clinic. The staff was kind and understanding, but as they examined the baby squirrel, their faces grew increasingly somber. John could feel the tension mounting in the room as the vet delivered the verdict. The baby squirrel was suffering from a rare disease that had infected its brain and there was no known cure. The only option was to euthanize the animal, as it was suffering and had no chance of recovery. John was devastated. He had put so much effort into saving the little squirrel, only to be told that it was all for naught. He couldn't bear the thought of the baby animal being put down, so he begged the vet to do everything possible to save it. The vet took pity on John and promised to do what she could. She put the baby squirrel on a special treatment plan, hoping that it would make a miraculous recovery. John visited the vet every day, praying that the little animal would pull through. Days turned into weeks and John's hope began to fade. But just when he was about to give up, the vet called him with good news. The baby squirrel had made a full recovery and it was now healthy enough to be released back into the wild. John was overjoyed. He had saved the life of a helpless creature and it had all been worth it. As he released the baby squirrel into the park, he knew that he had made a difference. Even though the odds were against them, John and the baby squirrel had defied the odds and come out on top.